Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. As you can see, I'm in my workbench. It's my official job workbench, but I'm doing that because I'm going to be doing an actual computer building series soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of an Intel solid state hard drive. For those of you who don't know what a solid state hard drive is, is it's basically the future of hard drives. If you haven't heard of them, I'll be kind of surprised. Uh, the acronym is SSD. And what they do is, is they allow you to access your files in real time, like on a flash memory, rather than through rotating disks and tapes on traditional drives. This allows you to access your files a lot quicker. The problem with solid states is they're a lot more expensive. This particular drive is the 330 series Intel solid state, and it cost me $90 from a store. You can probably get it online cheaper, but uh, it's a 60 gigabyte for $90, so you do the math on that one. Price has gone price has gone down a lot actually so let's go ahead and get started if we look at the side here we've got a solid state 330 six gigabyte capacity and all the fancy packaging details now if you order a hard drive and it doesn't come in the retail packaging you can be suspicious of it it's not really something to be worried about with hard drives usually but uh, if you order, order retail and it doesn't come in the packaging you should be nervous uh, like I, I've said in previous videos, you need to watch out for forgeries. There are a lot of hardware forgeries out there. So let's take a look at this one and make sure yours matches it if you bought one. Okay, so this actually has a nice little serial number. So if you order it and you order an OEM, this serial number should also be on it. I forgot they did that on these solid state drives, probably because they're a lot more expensive. Okay, nice little box here, nice tight packaging so it ships well, and there it is, wow fancy, it's got the uh, serial number so don't steal my serial number, I don't think you even can do that, maybe you can, I don't know, it's got a nice little tear off for opening it, and that's all it is, 90 gigabyte. Now this does work for desktops and laptops alike. Just make sure that your connector type is accurate. Um, this is a serial ATA, three gigabytes per second. Uh, most serial ATAs are three to six gigabytes per second. Now the six gigabyte per second will support the three gigabytes per second, so you don't need to worry about that. And if you order a good solid state drive, I've been burned on this before, it comes with one of these. Nice little adapters so that you can actually hook it up in your desktop computer and it'll actually fit in the tray. And you have an extra screw because it's Intel. You probably paid $40 for that. Two extra screws. One of them's for mounting it to the actual bracket. The other one's for mounting it to your case. Comes with a power adapter. That's a regular four pin power connector to a serial ATA power connector and a documentation disk. You shouldn't need drivers for this drive. It should just work when you plug it in. Should just work. And a installation manual. Now one thing that was kind of hideous with these drives, I've ordered one before, actually don't forget the serial ATA cable, that comes with it, is this sticker's way too big. I wouldn't stick this on the side of my case. It's pretty gaudy and ugly. So I don't know what they were thinking with that, especially since they have the really cool Intel processor stickers. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. But that's all there is to this video. This is the Intel SSD330 series solid state drive, and I'm looking forward to installing it in a laptop here at work. Stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and also on Twitter. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I always like when you guys leave comments because it gives me an opportunity to talk to you. And uh, stay tuned, and see you in the next video.